up, friends and viewers? My name is Hengus with TGN. I'm back with today's edition of your daily XP for Wednesday, March 28th. We're going to be looking at the Battlefield 3 patch, Tribes Ascend, Fantasy Star Online 2 demos, more on Baldur's Gate 2 iPad, and a new Xbox rumor. Let's get right into it. A very large patch was released for Battlefield 3 yesterday. The patch was released on the PS3 and information on 360 and PC releases shall be arriving soon. The patch notes contain pages upon pages of balance tweaks and general bug fixes showing that the developer of DICE is clearly interested in the long-term viability of Battlefield 3. Perhaps the most interesting feature of the patch is the ability for console players to rent a server. Players will have four different rental periods to choose from, varying from 1 day, 7 days, 30 days, and 90 days, ranging in price from $1.89 for the single day to around $75 for the 90 day package. Follow the link in the description below to see the full patch notes. Hi res Studios is showing off some new toys for the next update of their free-to-play FPS, Tribes Ascend, currently titled Cloak and Dagger. The update will focus on the Infiltrator class, adding in an Assassin skin, a Mercenary skin, Smoke Grenades, Jackal, and Throwing Knives. Head on over to the official site to play Tribes Ascend for free. Gamers are going to be able to get a little taste of Fantasy Star Online. Very little. On April 5th, PSO2 will release an open to all character creation demo. That's right. The demo will be completely in Japanese and only offer access to play with character creation, but it is perhaps better than nothing for those clamoring at the bit for more on the upcoming game. A beta test for 100,000 people will be held later in April. We'll let you know as soon as we have more info on how you can be involved with that. Just a quick follow-up to Monday's story about Baldur's Gate coming to the iPad. The iPad version of Baldur's Gate will support multiplayer and will cost less than $10. Two small but very cool announcements. More details are expected to emerge later this week. We'll finish off the day by firing up the rumor mill yet again. Apparently the newest price of Xbox hardware won't be a true successor, but rather a stripped down version of the current 360 which will apparently be focused on arcade-style games. Hmm. The device is rumored to be price competitive with the Apple TV and is scheduled for a 2013 release. File under interesting if true. This brings us to our community question of the day. Would you be interested in a stripped-down 360? Or do you find yourself simply asking, why? Head over to the forums and let us know what you think. Thanks for watching, as always, friends and viewers. My name's Hengus. Check it out. Woke up in New York City in a funky cheap hotel. She took my heart and she took my money. She must have slipped in a sleeping pill. She make you take your clothes off, then go dancing in the rain. She make you live her crazy life, but she'll take away your pain like a bullet to your brain. <laughs>